Okay, here we are, back at it again with more Dragon Age. Where we left off, we have to go to the wilds. I just don't, like, I think it's because Excuse I already me, have a dog. That's really kind of annoying me. Anyway, hey. Hail. Hail. You all have business in the wilds. The gates True. open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Thank you. Oh, dog is with me already. All right, we got some some wolves to deal with. Yes. Davith, what the fuck were you doing back there? Oh, bummer. My dear son, it pleases me that you wish to follow in my footsteps and bring the Maker's word to the unenlightened. I wish you had chosen a less dangerous place to do so. Apologies for leaving early for the wild, son, but I wanted to set up camp and get things started. The chase and respect one with survival skills in the wilds, so I hope to get a grip on that before you arrived and maybe establish an agreement with the local tribe so that we had friends when you came. When you reach the wilds, you'll find it difficult to navigate. I've listed certain landmarks below. If you follow them, they will lead you to, the lo to a location I've scouted out, where I've left you some supplies. If you're lost, try to get back to that spot and I'll find you. The landmarks are as follows, beginning at the entrance to the wilds from Ostagar. Look for a tree leaning on a ruined building, pass under a fallen tree bridge, pass a submerged tower on the right, look between a high ruined arch and a mossy standing stone, walk along a path of roots and stones. Look for two large statues with a chest between them. There you will find our meeting point. I love you, Jogby, my son. I hope to see you soon. Your father, Rigby. So, you can follow those instructions. That's why it's important to read the codexes, but you can also... I'll show you when we get there. Who is that? Grey Wardens? Well, yep. he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. Let's try to bandage him up. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh. I, I've got to get out of here. Okay. Good luck. I guess we could have taken him back, like escorted him. An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish really? and reckless. We should go back. You sound like a coward. Overcoming these dangers is part of our test. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. <laughs> that is reassuring. Mm. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. What is it, boy? Oh, nothing. That flower, white with a red center. The kennel master Ostagar was asking about Was those. he? Because I tried to talk to him multiple times and he did not answer me. The kennel master said this flower can help dogs that get sick from biting darkspawn. At any rate, he was offering a reward if someone went into the wilds and brought him one. 
might want to think about it is all. Yeah, I was thinking about it before, and he wasn't talking to me, so. Oh? We didn't even go that way. Okay. Hey, Alistair, remember how you're supposed to well, t right. warn us? Alright. Okay, so. It's over there, but. I thought there was something else over here. I guess not. So, this is the Chasen Trail sign. Mm -hmm. It says that it points. To me, it doesn't look like anything, but of course. when we use it, it highlights the next one. Which is why I said reading the codex is important. Like, it's helpful, but you don't necessarily need to. this now we can't see it yet but it will it's just because we haven't found the area where it exists oh hey don't say I didn't warn you <laughs> Your oh, is that right? My word. Look there, poor slobs. That just seems so excessive. I agree. Oh, hey guys. Uh oh. As you desire. Lovely. Well, you found the last will and testament of someone named Rigby on a body in the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But where is the actual last? To whoever finds this note, this is the last will and testament of Rigby the missionary, proud speaker of the Maker's word. I have come to the wilds to speak the chant, but I fear I will die here at the hands of the of the darkspawn. I leave all that I came with to my wife, Jetta. Should the reader of this note feel charitable, I've buried a sealed lockbox in our camp, nestled in a Tevinter ruin in the western reaches of the wilds. It is my will that this lockbox finds my wife in Redcliffe and that it is still sealed shut when it reaches her. To my wife and son, I apologize that my work has taken me from you, but I know that I but I know that I die in service to the maker. Well, we'll get there. As you desire. Okay, so now we have two and they're behind us. Mm -hmm. Looky here. Okay, so first of all, hidden cash over here. Listen, I'm a rogue, so. My great warden said, We're in danger. My great warden sense is tickling. Well, 
all right. My dear son, Jogby, I fear this is the last letter I will write you. I have had difficulty finding the chasen to bring them to the maker's word. I have, however, seen evidence of their passing. They appear to have left this area in great haste, possibly fleeing the so-called Darkspawn that are rumored, rumored to be gathering in the wilds in ever greater numbers. I have left you a weapon and everything else I can spare, my son. I will try to find you once I have found a safe place. I only hope that you will be safe. With luck, we will meet again. If you see her, tell your mother that I love her and take care of our family. Your loving father, Rigby. Unfortunately, they're both goners. Close by. You know, the drill. Of course. missing more dark spawn close by drill yep push them back <laughs> Do we have here? Well, well, what have we here? Okay, close, but are you a vulture? I wonder, a scavenger poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned, or merely an intruder? Come into these darkspawn filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey. Your wilds? What say you? Hmm? Scavenger or intruder? <laughs> because I know them as only one who owns them could. Can you claim the same? I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. <laughs> She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the Wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there. Women do not frighten like little boys. So tell true. Name and I shall tell you mine. And you may call me Morrigan, if you wish. Shall I guess your purpose? 
You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Twas my mother, in fact. Yes, my mother. Did you assume I spawned from a log? A thieving, weird talking log, perhaps? Not all in the wilds are monsters. Flowers grow as well as toads. If you wish, I will take you to my mother. It is not far from here, and you may ask her for your papers if you like. We should get those treaties, but I dislike this Morrigan's sudden appearance. It's too convenient. She prefers her privacy, but I imagine she will be curious enough why you were here. Come, see for yourself. Why not? I do not meet many people here. Are you all so mistrustful? Have I been dishonest? Some call us witches, yes, but purely out of superstition. You know what the Circle of Magi is, don't you? The Circle requires an accounting of all mages. That is the law of the land and the That's Chantry. That's your Templar if speaking. If you wish to tell your Chantry about me, go ahead. I have nothing to fear from priests. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. She's right. Women do not scare like little boys. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. I don't know Much if I, I meant to oh, do this mod or if that's a mistake. You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your woman's mind <laughs> give you a different viewpoint? Or do you well, believe as these boys do? I believe you have something we need. They did not come to listen to your wild tales, mother. True, they came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. What do you mean? Either the threat is more, or they realize less. Or perhaps the threat is nothing. <laughs> or perhaps they realize nothing. <laughs> oh, do yes. not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. So. Can I give you this flower? Greetings. Are you one of the Grey Wardens that went into the wilds? Did you happen to see any white flowers? Davith mentioned that you were offering a reward for one, despite the fact that you wouldn't tell me anything when I tried to talk to you. I don't know for sure that the flower will aid my poor hounds, but it's worth trying. I have, uh, let's see, 20 silver to offer as a reward for it. Okay. Thank you for your assistance, then. Perhaps we won't lose as many hounds as I'd feared. The infected hound seems to be doing much better for now. Thank you for your assistance. So I heard, and I don't know if this is true, because I haven't done it this way, that if you wait and 
go to this chest during the return to Ostagar DLC, you get better stuff. So I'm gonna wait. So you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? I mean, yeah, we killed a bunch of dark spawns, so three vials was not difficult. And also the treaties was a little bit more complicated, but that's not important. Good. I've had the circle mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had the scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. Hey, but now can you give us the info? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. Well, as everyone keeps reminding me, since I'm a woman, I'm not afraid. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Hmm. I only know that my wife is in Hyever with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. Amen to that, brother. You saw those darkspawn tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of darkspawn blood. And mastered their taint. <laughs> taint. Going to drink the blood of those... Those creatures. As the first Grey Wardens did before us. As we did before you. This is the source of our power. And our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the darkspawn. And use it to slay the archdemon. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. a bummer. I am sorry, Avid. Step forward, Jory. But I have a wife, a child. Had there I known... no turning back. No. You ask too much. There is no glory in this. Uh-oh. Yikes. I am sorry. Uh, uh, uh. 
But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. Then I die and the game is over. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Daisies found the Archdemer. It is finished. Welcome. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? Such is what it takes to be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the Darkspawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. That's great, but I own the like deluxe edition, so I have better things, ready. but... Thank I'd like you. you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. Death is never easy to accept, especially when it arrives in such a brutal fashion. Honor your comrades if you wish, but know that we must press forward. Always we must press forward. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Okay. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kaelin. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, your majesty. And this is the lady from High Ever I met earlier? I understand congratulations are in order. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kaelin. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Logain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty. You should consider the possibility of the arch demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we Circle of Magi... We will not trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Logain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, 
turn Logain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Yes, so am I. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. Then I must join the others. From here, you tour on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan. Seems pretty presumptuous. May the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. Come on, Alistair. I doubt I downloaded a mod that does this. And yes, I did get emotional when I saw it. That's like a father figure to Alistair. He's never really had one. You don't know that yet. But now you do. Alright, here we go. Nope. This way. Oh. will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. the bridge and get to the tower of his shop you got it dude oh all right all right 
how you're just standing there. You, you're Grey Wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. Okay. That was the plan anyway, wasn't it? Yikes, uh, this is awkward, um, Why are we still in combat? Interesting. I know my inventories will shut up. Make his breath. What are these darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Um, didn't you? Yeah. Weren't you complaining that you don't can't? Mm. Weren't you complaining that you wouldn't get to fight? <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, mm -hmm. we need to hurry. We need to get up to the tower and light and like the signal fire in time. Tyron Logan Wasn't that the plan? The but then, like, you s you stopped me to talk. So. Come on. Gain better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending well, on us. I hate to break it to you, but it's not exactly how this is gonna work. Always be on the side of puppies getting revenge for poor treatment. Time for more dark spawn, I see. Mm. 
Oh. What are you doing in here? You guys got this. Dear me, what a mess. So true. Good boys. Can I pet you guys? No. It's okay. Oh my. What's that? Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not do as I command? Pull out! All of you, let's move! Why would Logan betray them this way? No, not pretty King Kalen. He was gonna help me avenge my family. You can do it. Duncan, the savior. Beacons lit. We did our job. Don't worry, Daddy Duncan. We did not fail you. Game over. The end. And that's Dragon Age Origins. Hope you enjoyed it. Just kidding. Ah, 
Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. These are some sexy undergarments that my character is wearing. I don't remember these. Uh, yes. You were what injured happened? and then Mother rescued you. Do you not remember? But what happened to the army, to the, the king? The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Wait, but what happened? All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Oh. Uh, thanks. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Were my injuries severe? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. Um, can I ask you some questions? I do not mind. Take your time. Are we safe here? We are safe for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. Why did she save us? I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. What a sensible attitude. Mother is seldom sensible, however. How did she manage to rescue she us? She turned into a giant bird and plucked or the a dragon, from maybe? atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. Are there any others that survived? Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Oh. Uh, why did he abandon the king? I do not know this low game even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. Okay. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. Look at those titties. You, you're alive. Huh. I thought you were dead for sure. I mean, I would be. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not mm -hmm. talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? From the legends? Davith was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always Just been the, the two of us. Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? No. Um, but the land is hardly united. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Then we need to find it. By ourselves? No Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half dozen nations at his back. Not to mention... I don't know how. How to kill the Archdemon? Or how to raise an army? It seems to me those are two different questions, hmm? Have the Wardens no mm. allies these days? I... I, well. I, I don't know. Duncan said that the Grey Wardens of Orlay had been called, and Arl Eamon would never stand for this, surely. Okay, so that's a start. I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kaelin's uncle. I know him. 
He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Why do you act like I see? Okay. And see, the treaties? There's a smart lass. Of course, the treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can sure we do does. This? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army. I don't see why not. Yeah. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. I mean, I yeah, I'd be happy with just staying alive. Come to think of it, that would be nice. Well, don't expect me to do everything. There is, however, one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, thank you. But if she doesn't Her want magic to... Will be useful. Even better, she knows the wild and how to get past the horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Mm -mm. Very well. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point. So Point. true. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite Dog, for Elden against whining. the Darkspawn. They need you more. That's again. true. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the blight. Even I. I understand. And you, Wardens, do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Yeah. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Um, no, I prefer <laughs> you speak your mind. You will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Uh, we need all the help we I can get. Right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. I have some questions. I may have answers. Ask. Have you ever... Are you really Was her daughter? she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not? It is what you meant, yes? It's just difficult Young, to imagine married, her... Pregnant? Yeah. Who said she was any of these things? I certainly did not. Have you been outside from of the wilds? From time to time. I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. Um, is that what you want? What I want is to see mountains. I wish to witness the ocean and step into its waters. I want to experience a city rather than see it in my mind. So, yes, this is what I want. Actually, leaving is harder than I thought, however. 
Perhaps mother is right. It must simply be done quickly. Tell me about it the village. It is a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your imperial highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. Is there I any mention reason it for its tavern, where travelers gather with news from other places. It is small enough that our appearance might go unnoticed. Beyond that, it is close, and I know the way. How do we get the past the darkspawn? Is how we are going to get your friend past the darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. I don't sense them. You won't right away. No. It takes time. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent dark spawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. They're camped further they in the come forest? from underground, like an eruption. They broke through deep within the forest, and that is where they will be most concentrated. Mm. What skills I do you have? I have a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook, yes. Never mind him. You missed your chance. Now it's Child Rabbit from here on out. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Okay. Can we find a fucking merchant though? That would be nice. Of course. All right, so we're going to well, because I don't think we have a merchant there yet. Lothering. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow mm. to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. What about you, Honora? What do you say? Van Tegan, please! Your Majesty. Your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? Good question, Tegan. Such a good question. We 
Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess the pretty one is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Yeah, maybe. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. How is that mm -hmm. any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. You should listen to your friend. We are not refugees. What should I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies We're to everyone, armed. Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Yeah, you see... You're a toll collector, Seth? Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a hmm. mess, isn't it? I see. So you're fixing not it. Much gets past you, I see. It's not really a toll. We're just robbing you. See? Do shut up. Even a Genlock would have understood that. So yeah, I no. I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse then. Those are the rules. Why can't I intimidate? Oh, right. Here we go. Did she say she's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough mm -hmm. to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king killing ways. Uh, you know, we you could use say. a donation. He is really good, boss. Remember? Well, yes. 20 silvers? That's all we've collected today. Wow. Not enough, Just I'm afraid. Just when settled. We surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Yes, I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. Okay, well, sure. What did I tell you? We aren't even from these parts. Well, watching for folks fleeing from the south, chasing from the wilds and farm holders mostly. There aren't soldiers here anymore, so we help ourselves. We try not to hurt anyone too much. It's packed full. The band took his men north with Tern Logain, so there's no one looking out for it except a few Templars at the Chantry. Well, I was just trying to feed my family, you know? Uh-huh. Couple, maybe. A group of wounded Ash Warriors came by earlier. Got right out of their way. Mm-hmm. Everyone's saying how the Grey Wardens betrayed the King during the Darkspawn fight. Got him and themselves killed. Turn Logain pulled out just in time. First thing he's doing as Regent is putting a bounty on Grey Wardens. Well then, let me go! Yes, yes of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Mm-hmm. Bless you! The Darkspawn can have this place! Mm -hmm. There it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. What did you want to talk about? Oh, you have yes, been very quiet. I, I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long then. Oh, 
I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly mm. when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Okay. Uh, I need to look he for my brother. He was out scouting in the wilds, wasn't he? That's what the king said. Then attempting to look for him there would be foolish. He is either dead or he managed to flee to the north. Very sensitive. I am simply saying that it is foolish to mount a rescue when you have no notion where this man is and the wilds are overrun with darkspawn. You will either find him somewhere outside the wilds with other survivors or not at all. Um, we need to hear some news. But we need we can to decide. decide what our general plan is for afterwards, don't we? I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? Yeah. There are three main groups that we have treaties for the Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Nature. doesn't matter what I answer. I also if you're still think tell that is our anyway. best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Is there a way to contact Short them? Short of leaving Ferelden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. Hmm. Um, what do you think, Go Morgan? after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming. And it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion, and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Okay. Uh, why are you leaving well, it up I to me? I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Aliman is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. Okay, then we need to find these people. I can give you directions if you like. Um, I don't need directions. Then you have a plan. I'm not sure any of I'm this is sure a good I'm not sure I idea. like any of it either, but we don't have a lot of choice in the matter. Of course you have a choice. You could run and forget about it all. Let the Darkspawn do as they wish until other Grey Wardens come. If they come. That's what you call a choice? It may not be There's a good choice, a choice, but it's a choice yeah. nevertheless. We all choose our path, even when it seems there is only one direction we should go. How enlightening. At any rate, I'll stay with you whatever you decide. Okay, I'm ready. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Okay. That's gonna be it for this one. Um... Next one will be Lothering and Beyond. So we will uh, figure it out then. Bye.